The suspect was arrested in Wakiso and was found with exhibits linking him to the recent bombing that occurred in Kampala and different places. Uh, there was that one arrest which was made surrounding the leader of the ADF cell in Central Region. Our task teams from CMI and Counterterrorism arrested the leader of the ADF terror cell in Central Region, Ewan Kabanda Abdallah Musa, alias Mogo. We conducted multiple searches at his home in Katoke, a village, Wamala Parish, and at his second home in Jimbo, a village which is found in Lukwago Parish in Wakiso District. At the time uh, of his arrest, he was actively involved in the recruitment and radicalization of youth, and also uh, the one that was putting into place plans of uh, attacks against security uh, personnel, security facilities, and also VIPs within the country. I remember we indicated to you the uh, counterintelligence that we had of uh, remnants of the ADF uh, showing interest in causing harm by attacking security personnel and VIPs in this country. So these threats are real. Police says Kabanda Abdallah Mosa was the commander of ADF in Buganda and was captured recording details of security personnel in the country and some VIPs. Uh, Kabanda Abdallah Musa, alias Mogo, was part of the group that assembled the suicide bomb jackets that were used in the bomb attacks on CPS and Parliament Avenue. Uh, some of the exhibits, including uh, improvised explosive uh, devices that were left behind by Uthman, uh, who died in the suicide attack, were recovered at his home in uh, Katoke. And uh, among the assortment of exhibits, there was an SMG rifle with nine rounds, 11 phones, three SIM cards, a flash with radical material, and uh, we had cash of 500,000. Then we also recovered a motorcycle, uh, which was being ridden by one called Musoke Juma. Musoke Juma, alias Musubuzi, is an accomplice who is on the run. But uh, we are pursuing him in all corners and uh, because he's a wanted man. Now, uh, Kabanda Abdallah is not new uh, in the in this fear of uh, terrorism. Uh, he previously subscribed to the Al-Shabaab and uh, during the hearing of uh, uh, the case against the terrorists behind the double, to, uh, the double bombings of Kampala in 2010, he was captured registering names of security personnel who were involved in the investigation of that case, their registration, the registration of their motor vehicles. So he has been a radical uh, member of uh, uh, these terror groups. So he was arrested during uh, the year 2015 and uh, uh, for being part of uh, a terrorist group. And in 2020, he was released on bail However, immediately after his release on bail, he established contacts uh, with uh, he established contacts with the ADF based in the DRC and uh, uh, gets instructions from uh, a one called Medi Nkarovo, others call him Ninja. Uh, Nkarovo is one of uh, those ADF commanders who has been uh, a mastermind in uh, planning the suicide attacks, the bomb attacks, and also uh, some of the assassinations that have been carried out uh, in this country. According to police, Kabanda's brother, Kisambila Mohamedi, participated in an attempt to assassinate Minister for Works and Transport, Jeno Katumba Wamala, in January 2021. Hello to Kabanda Abdallah Wan Kisambila Mohamed is one of those who were involved in uh, the attempted assassination of General Katumba uh, Wamala. And uh, 
Uh, so we believe that his arrest is a major setback uh, in the activities and uh, sinister plans by the ADF in this country. So as a country, we remain dedicated and determined in our efforts uh, to thwart terrorism, uh, to counter terrorism financing and extremist ideologies within the country. And uh, we want to uh, thank our task teams that are really putting much effort and we urge them to continue uh, pursuing the remaining agents, uh, collaborators on the operatives and help save our country Uganda from terrorism. It should be noted that in 2021 Uganda was in state of terror with a threat of bomb attacks and other security undermining activities.